Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to compare two YouTubers that each have about 10,000 subs and we're going to compare their income report from 2020. Um, it's interesting, each of them did not get monetized until April of last year, so it's actually eight months worth of work and this is how much money they made. Now one of the things I want you to look at, who made more money? We're going to find out either Faye or Morgan. You can check out both their channels. They're both great YouTubers. They both are up and rising. Um, they now have a lot more than 10,000 subs, but at the time, that's what they had. Um, I also want you to look at not only the subs, um, just because they both have the same amount of subs, did they make the same amount of money? Did views have anything to do with it? Are those equal? And I also want to go over the RPM. The RPM is what you make from YouTube when ads are ran on your video and i'll explain that a little bit more i'm going to go into my channel and show you exactly what that means because it's really important to understand how you get paid from youtube but it's also a lot of fun to see what other youtubers are make and it kind of helps you get excited to what you can aspire to and what's out there for you if you put the work into it so let's get started on my channel i teach you how to turn your passion into profit i truly believe that every business should have a youtube channel i just believe that it's it's getting your content out there and taking something that you love to do that you can share with others and profit from it it's that simple in the beginning and there's lots of other income streams but this in my opinion is where it begins so make sure you check out my channel um, subscribe and then hit that notification button and every week i put out new videos all right let's start with morgan i'm going to let morgan tell you how much money she made in 2020 it's best coming from her but the things that i want you to watch for are how many views did she have how much money did she make and what was her rpm so those are three important things after i show you morgan we'll jump right in and we'll look at Faye, uh, her video it's a part of their video that they put out and let her tell you what she made after that we'll come back we'll discuss it and i'll show you a few things from my channel that in comparison where I was a lot smaller than they were, and you can compare my income to theirs as well. But going to the revenue, I was not making any money on ads, obviously for the first few months. Now I did finally get monetized in April. So for my very first day being monetized, I made a whopping $2.36. And yes, you better believe I texted all of my family members and I let them know because that was a big deal, going from zero, 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 zero to actually making money. It was a big deal and you can see that that grew and grew and grew over time and it led to making around six thousand dollars on my channel which i am just pumped for because now my videos and the work that i'm putting into my videos and all the time that i'm putting in my videos is finally paying off a little bit when you're back here and you're looking at your revenue new that is actually your take-home revenue so how much Google is going to pay you that's how much you get so it's taken Google's cut already out of it you don't have to worry about that so if you are just focused on the money that is the number you want to look at so talking about money I want to talk about CPM so CPM stands for cost per mil basically it's the amount that YouTube charges advertisers to put an ad in front of your video for 1,000 people and so my CPM went up and CPM is the overall amount that YouTube charges advertisers. So it includes YouTube's portion of the money and your portion of the money. And the way that that's broken down is you get 55% of that and YouTube gets 45% of that. But if you want to see your cut specifically, that's where the new metric RPM comes in. So we'll look at that in a second. But as soon as I was monetized, my average CPM for video was around anywhere from eight to $11 per video. And then towards the end of the year, it started to grow where it was anywhere from $10 to $15 a video. So I'm gonna break down starting April, 2020, because that's when I actually started monetizing all the way through December. December has not concluded yet, but we can more or less predict the range of uh, my YouTube ads and where it's gonna land. So let's get started. First month is April. I started monetizing as of April 17th. That was day one. I still remember $5.97. And in that month, I received $261.60. Let's take a look at May. Now, in the month of May, I received 120,000 views. My estimated revenue, which has concluded since then, is $789.39. 
So in the month of June, I received $687.97. Let's plug that right in. At this point, I was making a prediction to say, I think this is going to be the revenue I'll be receiving through the end of the year. I am super happy because come on guys, if you receive, if you see $700 cash on the ground, you're going to pick it up and be happy with it, right? So I'm going to plug in right here. August, as you can see, the views are really going up. And what happens is that all of a sudden this video, 12 Zoom meeting tips, went from less than 10,000 views to over 31,000 views in that one month. As a result, it really drove up the revenue here. Now in September, my revenue nearly doubled. My channel views got up to 152,000 views and the watch time is going up as well. So the revenue concluded was $1,967.61 was huge for me. It went up even more to $2,321.25. Now, November, my revenue actually dropped. Now, this, right now, I have made $666.35. Because it's the middle of December, it is fair for me to maybe predict it's going to be twice the amount of that. But I I'm just going to say this is an estimated number and I'm going to use orange just so everybody knows it's not formalized yet. And who knows, maybe you guys can guess it in the comments below what you think I'm going to get for the month of December. So they made more money. Why? They both had 10,000 subs. They both started, uh, got monetized in April. They only earned money for eight months. Why did she make more? She had more views. But if you did the ratio of the views, Faye had a million views, Morgan had almost 800,000, and her income was 4,000 more. So the math doesn't work out with the ratio. The determining factor is RPM. And neither one of them really went into RPM. I was hoping that they would show that snapshot. I'm going to show you on my analytics where that's at and why it's so important. And I'm then going to show you a video where I really dig in. But for now, let's just look here. Morgan went into how each video had an average of $8 per video or something like that. Every single one of your videos has a different RPM. As you can see here, I had 70,000 views last year um, for the year 2020, and I made almost $2,000. That was for 12 months, so they did much better. But of course, at that time, I had actually less than 3,000 subscribers. So there's a big difference there. But let me show you here under revenue and RPM. The CPM, this is the amount of money that the ad, the advertiser pays YouTube per 1,000 clicks. So on an average, all my videos combined, the average CPM was $65.73, so my average RPM was 28. I have some videos that the RPM is like $180. I have others that it's only $20, so it all averages out. It really depends on who is advertising on your channel that's the bottom line that's going to make the difference now i want it again i'm going to put the video up right now of what those two things mean i go in um, on this video and really explain the difference so if that helps morgan did say that youtube gives you more money but they don't they actually keep the 55 percent you get less so i just wanted to point that out there's a lot to learn so a lot of information out there but i did want to point that out now let's go to a spreadsheet that i made because i i really want to show this if you, if you sit down and, and you stop the video and do some math you're going to see it's not that simple of it's not um where i could say okay i had three thousand subs and if i and two thousand dollars income if i multiplied everything i had by three which means i would make six thousand it's right here uh two thousand times three is six thousand then i would make the same amount of money as morgan I had 70,000 views. Let's multiply that by three. Well, then it's only 210,000 views. That's not a lot of views. Um, 3,000 times three, now 9,000 subs. So I want to show you that it doesn't work out mathematically exact. Um, I know when I first started my channel, everybody kept saying, oh, if you have 1,000 views, this is how much you make. It is not that simple. It is, the numbers are all over the place. Let me compare myself to, to Faye. If I multiplied everything by five, 2,000 times five, I would make $10,000 according to just doing the math. 70,000 times five is 350,000 views, which is still not even close to what she had. She had a million views and 3,000 times five, 15,000 subs, according to 
doing it mathematically across the board, I'd have to have 15,000 subs, but less views to make the same amount of money. This does not work that simply. I want you to see that it's a combination of everything and the RPM pay, plays a huge factor. Because if you look at everything according to a ratio, $2,000 on 3,000 views is pretty good. So I say this because if you're just starting out and you're down there at 1,000 subscribers or 2,000 or 3,000, don't get discouraged when you see these people making you know thousands and thousands of dollars. You may be doing better than they are if you look at the ratio and the RPM and things like that. So I hope this video was helpful. I'm going to be putting out more. I really am curious about YouTubers that have over a million subscribers, what kind of money are they making? And I'm going to find a couple that I can compare. I'm trying to compare apples to apples as much as I can, but watch for that video. I'm going to find two, two of them and compare them and, and see what those look like. I don't know. Do their RPMs go down? Do they go up? I don't know. All right. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button. I'll see you on the next video.